There we go. Cooking with the GoPro. Today, we are gonna learn how to cook scrambled eggs and make a breakfast burrito because cooking eggs is the easiest way to learn how to cook in general. Step one, turn on the grill. Even though it's raining outside, that's fine. It's just a little drizzle. Hey, Tucker, where you would you? Hey, Gio, where you would you? Okay, step two, take your pan out. Non-skillet, non-stick skillet pan. Eggs, three. The reason I'm doing this with the GoPro is because I can't hold a camera and cook at the same time. It's on my body. Ham, Taylor ham. Cheese, American. Cutting board. Knife, a good sharp one. A lot of people don't cook because they're afraid to cook. They're afraid they're gonna screw up. I don't like that. You're gonna screw up. Don't get me wrong, everyone screws up once in a while. The point is, how much do you learn from it? It matters. So, we are going to make an easy piece of food that showcases an easy way to cook. Turn on your pan, put it on six, medium heat. And get out a tortilla. It's always important to put away stuff as you go because there are down times in cooking. And if you wait till the end, you're not gonna wanna clean. So while the grill is heating up, we're getting all of our ingredients ready. Instead of getting all our ingredients ready and then heating up the grill. Taylor ham is a fatty piece of meat. When you cut it, it's going to take a little while to get through because there's a rind on the outside. And when you cut it with a knife, you want to take it, hold it with your three fingers right here, put your thumb on it to guide it right here, and then put your finger on top right here so you can put pressure. And when you're cutting, you want to do like a sawing motion back and forth and put a little bit of pressure on. I'm using four pieces of ham because I'm fat. All right, take your ham, take it out, good. Wrap up all meat, in fact, let's get rid of this. Wrap up all meat with saran wrap. Why? Because if you put it in the fridge, <clears throat> without saran wrap, it's gonna become freezer burned. And freezer burned meat doesn't taste as good as non-freezer burned meat. that crap. Hey, scratch the puppy. Take your meat. Usually you want to wait till the grill is nice and hot. This is nice and hot. Slap your meat down. One, two, three, four. That's going to take about two minutes to cook, three minutes to cook, depending. I do not know how long anything takes to cook, by the way. Never have, and I'm pretty decent cook too on top of it. The reason I don't know is because I just go by feel, and eventually you can do it too. Put away your knife. Non-stick pans. Never use a metal spatula on a non-stick pan. It will get rid of the Teflon coating, and that could give you cancer as well as ruining your pan. No one likes cancer with their food. Unwrap cheese. No, no cheese. Now, while the pan is heating up, bowl, fork, put it there, put your tortilla on the pan, push it down so every part of the tortilla is getting covered by the pan. You won't really get burned by this, look, at, look how long I'm holding my hands down, because there's a cold tortilla in between you and the hot pan. A little bit of milk. Just a tidbit. This makes the eggs fluffy. Yeah, just a little. Now, when you're cracking eggs, always crack them on the table instead of in your bowl because if you get a shell in the bowl, it's harder to fish out. 
That's the only reason. One, two, three. Now, scrambled eggs, what makes them scrambled is you scramble them. And the way we're going to scramble them is whisking them with a fork. And when you're doing this, don't do it in a circular motion. You can do it, but it'll take longer. It might strip over the sides. Just do it like you're scribbling on a piece of paper. In fact, hold it like a pencil and go like this. And as you see, as long as it's all mixed up and all the egg whites are mixed with the yolks, it's good to go. Take it, put it away. Salmonella affects less than 0.013% of all people who eat eggs, but that means that there's still a chance. So, prevent cross-contamination by washing your hands in between touching gooey eggs or raw meat or anything like that. Cross-contamination is the number one thing that gets people sick in the kitchen. I don't know that for certain, but it sounds right. Take down a plate. This should be nice and warm on one side. Flip it over and get the other side real quick. Go out to your grill and check on your meat. Hi. Still raining, awesome. Flip your meat. There's an old rumor that you don't flip your meat more than once. Doesn't make any sense. You don't really lose that many juices if you flip your meat more than once. That goes for steaks and hamburgers. What you do lose is warm meat on one side. Now, take your eggs. Oh, I almost forgot. People say use butter to grease the pan, that's true, but in scrambled eggs, you also want to use more butter just to make the egg taste good. It's a little secret that Gordon Ramsay talks about when he makes his scrambled eggs, although he uses creme fraiche, too. Take that, take your eggs, and put it in. Cool thing about scrambled eggs, and something that, this is another reason why I tell people to make this if they're learning how to cook for the first time, is they cook extremely fast. You don't have to wait on them. Let it sit for a second. We're doing this in real time, just so you know. And the time it takes me to put away this crap, the eggs will be ready to start scrambling. So as you see, it's starting to look like an omelet. You can push the sides and it holds shape. So what you want to do is just start scrambling. And the way you scramble eggs is you just hit them. Hit them over and over again. Move them around, flip them a little bit. This should take about, I don't know, 30 seconds. 30 seconds to a minute to make a pile of scrambled eggs. The other key to scrambled eggs, and it's something that a lot of people mess up when they are making eggs, is you want to take them off the heat before they're completely done. Now you see how they're translucent? Give them one more flip. These are done. They'll continue to cook off the pan. So there's no reason to keep them in there longer. Off the side. Sriracha. Put on all your eggs. Why? Because sriracha is delicious. Go outside. Get your ham. The ham looks pretty good, right? Flip it one more time just so both sides stay warm. And you can do this bacon too. Actually, a cool thing is putting bacon on the grill. It cooks a lot faster than if you bake it. It also tastes about the same. And the grease drips down into your grease pan so you don't have to worry about it. Take your ham, put it on here. Most people only use two pieces of ham or one piece of ham, but I'm a growing boy. 
lock back inside, and you're done. So it's that easy. So let's go over it really quick. You need four pieces of ham, milk and eggs for your scrambled eggs, two slices of cheese, and sriracha. My dog's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. You take it all, put your cheese down first. You don't have to put cheese in the pan. American cheese melts really easy. You just put your hot eggs on top of it and it'll be nice and gooey. Put sriracha, ham, and now to fold it up like a real burrito, and take it, take the back, pinch it in. Pinch it in like you're folding a present, right? If you have to fold on a corner, you want to push it in. Take it on both sides and do that, and then roll it. Breakfast burrito, nice and easy. Cool.